How's it going guys? This is Real Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. We meet again. I hope you guys are doing fine since guess what? It's the rainy season in Tokyo right now. And on top of that, there is a construction going on below my like apartment. So you guys might hear some old men like grunting and stuff like that. So I apologize in advance if you can hear those sounds along the way. Um, if you like shoot with digital, you're gonna love the rainy season. If you shoot with film, you're gonna probably hate it because you're stuck with a specific, you know, ISO. Coming back to 35mm film format, it's interesting to note that 35mm is by far one of the most versatile like film formats due to its size, weight, and how many shots per roll you can shoot and how compact the camera body can become, especially the point and shoots. It's, it's so small it's so much smaller than a medium format camera and and you have to keep in mind that 35 mil format the reason why it's like really popular among a lot of people is because there's so many abundant amount of like film stocks out there when you compare it with medium format it's like i wish medium format had three four more times the volume the abundance of a 35 mil, you know, because you're, you're kind of limited if you're shooting medium format. But if you're shooting with 35 mil, there's like a lot of film stocks to like try and challenge yourself. Okay, so in today's video, I would like to talk about the Fuji Color 100. This film was recently being sold at a local camera shop that I used I typically go to for around 960 yen. And for you guys who only know US dollars, that's roughly 10 bucks in US dollars. So I went ahead and picked it up. And if you guys like check the Fuji films like lineup of their films, they only have, if I'm right, as of 2021, the Superia Premium 400. And the, if you live in Tokyo, if you live in Japan, they also have the Industrial 200, the Gilmuyo 200, which the box is desaturated. You guys probably saw it somewhere, but it's discontinued, if I'm right. And the C200, which is being sold only in the United States and North America. I'm not sure about like Europe and other parts of the area, but it's not C200 is not being sold in Japan right now. So Fuji Color 100 is basically the alternative to that. So I'm guessing that the Fuji Color 100 is being overshadowed by the Superior 400, which the majority of people like shoot with. And because this is actually my first time shooting with the Fuji Color 100 and also Fuji's like film, 35 mil film stock. I can't do any comparison, unfortunately. I'm typically a Kodak Gold, Kodak Color Plus type of guy, so don't know how it goes, but honestly, I can't do a comparison since this is actually my first time shooting with a Fuji Color 100. And also note, I never shot with any other Fuji films, 35 mil film formats. And as always in this shoot, I will be bringing out my Nikon F3, 50mm 1.8 AIS with the motor drive. This time around, I went to a location called Keio Inadatsumi. I'm not sure if the pronunciation is correct, but a long time ago in my YouTube channel, I talked about the Tamagawa, so it's basically a river, but I never like mentioned that in my last video, I shot from the left side of the Tamagawa when you go upstream, but this time, I never had a chance to like shoot from the opposite side. So this is basically, you're actually crossing the river that basically the train crosses the river on a bridge and the next station after that Tamaga, Keio Tamagawa is called Keio Inadatsumi. So that's actually where I went to like shoot some photos and also test this film stock to see how it would perform. So yeah, Keio Inadatsumi, the opposite side of, AKA the opposite side of Tamagawa River. And this time Nikon F3 with a sexy motor drive, Fuji Color 100. Let's get going.
kind of shocking to say I love this film stocks due to a couple of reasons. One, it's actually easier to like post process after you know getting it scanned in house and compared to Kodak and Gold, Kodak Color Plus, for me I had a lot of trouble like correcting that those like film stocks and that's like one of the reasons I strayed away from th shooting 35mm format because Kodak Gold, Color Plus, Ultramax I never tried. It was, was hard to like predict how much yellow, how much orange I should like put into that, those images and I never had a sort of like a sort of like a rule of thumb up on pro processing those types of films and I just strayed away from them but like Fuji Color 100 it's actually shocking to see that the images actually look flat but there's there's a but actually it actually always comes with in my case it always came with a red tint which was like super easy to like fix you just add green add and see and you're good to go so that actually shaved a lot of time for me and I realized that this film stock Although it has that sort of neutral vibe to it and not much orange, it doesn't have that much orange and yellow actually. So compared to like Kodak Gold and Kodak, Kodak Color Plus, it's actually easier to like post process in post in my case. And because of that, I was able to shave a lot of time in processing each and every photos that you saw in my like, you know, video. So that was one thing I realized. Obviously like, how much you want to color or correct depends on that person's perspective, how you guys like view your images. And to me, it looks perfectly fine. In my case, might not apply to other people. So take that for a grain of salt. And another thing to know about this film stock is that I have to say with confidence that this film has to be shot during the sunny, super sunny days, period. And this applies to every film stock because film behaves differently depending on the lighting condition. Super sunny days is actually when you should be shooting this film because you guys can tell from some of the images that they look really nice but when it's like overcast it doesn't look that it looks really bland it looks like boring to my to my eyes so like if you ever have an opportunity to shoot with this film please shoot in super bright condition you won't let this film stock won't let you down and it was a great experience like shooting with it okay so the downside that i could think of i have two right now so only shooting two rolls and i only have two downsides that i could think of one is the price obviously if you guys know color plus kodak's color plus and kodak gold go for roughly seven to eight nine dollars in japan it's like eight nine dollars right now if i'm right it's actually a little bit exp more expensive than those two film stocks, but it's actually cheaper than the Fuji Superior 400, which go for $13. So it's like in the middle, but it's less than $10. It's 960 yen. So to me, like this is probably going to be my main go-to film stock as of 2021 period. And, the, and this goes into a little bit of the next, like that downside that I want to talk about is the ISO rating. It is ISO 100. So it's mainly going to be shot during the day when it's like bright and sunny. And from looking at my images, I really don't like to shoot during like overcast days at all because you guys can tell it doesn't look good in my eyes. To some people it might look good, but to me, I like to have this sort of like refreshing look to my images and all the really punchy greens the punchy like cyan's the blues you know so this is going to be although this is going to be my main like film stock for shooting at iso 100 i need to start looking for other options if the day gets you know bad and if it gets like really dark you know i might need to find a, another film stock to like sort of compensate for that maybe like an iso 400 film and yeah, if you guys have any kind of like advice for ISO 400 films, there's a couple I want to try out to see how those perform in my future videos. And yeah, for 960 yen, I think it's a steal. And I never realized that I should have tried this film stock a long time ago, but I was shooting mostly medium until now. So it's great to find new like find find new stuff along the way as you like make more videos so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions comments please leave in the description description below in the in the comment section below 
So yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace.